This is the brand new E-Flight Micro Draco. Here is a peek at what you get inside the box. Or is this a little better? When we zoom in closer, we can see the wing bolt off to the left right next to the Velcro and the owner's manual and of course an E-Flight sticker to show your colors. I have two bits of information for you right here. One, this ribbon you see right here, mostly in the middle of your screen, that is what connects to the bottom side of the main wing. That is gonna power your control surfaces, your ailerons, your flaps, your lights. And the other thing is, I, so far, I'm not very impressed with how this is packaged. It's kind of a pain to get to it, if I'm being completely honest. A third thing I just noticed right here, looks like we may have some brass in there where that bolt goes. So that's kind of cool. Here is a look at this main wing. Very, very cool. Pretty darn big too. It does have a lot of stuff that I'm hoping I'm not going to break off. Like this antenna here, perhaps. I didn't put that those kinds of bits on my big Draco, but I have no choice here. So fingers crossed that everything will be okay. This is a closer look at where that ribbon cable plugs in. Goes in right there, guys. While we're looking at this side of the wing, look at those lights. There's all kinds of lights in here, guys. Let's just do the whole thing. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna show you this. The lights in the dark coming up here very quickly. So do not click away. Holy moly, you guys. This thing is really cool. I do have some cons that I'll cover at the end of the video and maybe here shortly. However, the looks of this thing, the detail is remarkable. And I cannot wait to fire up the lights and we're gonna do that next in the dark. I'm not sure the video is doing this justice for how awesome the lights look with this little guy, but my goodness. You can see light. This is going to be a good night flyer. This is another angle and my goodness, you can see the light thrown off this thing. It is incredible guys. Have a look at this angle guys. Need I say more. With this angle, you get to see what it looks like fully illuminated. I've got four big light boxes and you can still see the lights through that. You're going to see these during the day. I strongly predict that. And that is just incredible. We are in high rates and you can see, well, you can see the bottom side. Can't see the top side. I'm standing up. So I'm seeing it from a slightly different angle than you guys are. See that wiggle back and forth. Of course, of course. Oh, did not mean to do that, but we got a quick little motor test. And I think that may have turned on AS3X. Let's see if we can see the flaps from this angle. Yes, we can. That's half flaps. There we go, guys. And you hear the buzz, of course, of those little servos. Here is a nice side profile look for you. Get a better look. That was on low rates for the ailerons. Actually, let's keep the elevator at low rates too. And then now let's pop them up, both of them, on high rates. There's a lot of throw here, guys. Let's put, uh, the rudder has tons of throw, so that is a lot of fun. Let's do the flaps from the side profile. Bang. Here's another look at the control surfaces. All of this is high rates, guys. Delicious, delicious high rates. And from the last clip, I did a little bit of tuning. That buzzing was coming from my flaps. So I adjusted it slightly. Took it away just a little bit. I uh, didn't want to stress the servo, so I made a slight adjustment that I found that works pretty well for me over time, or has worked pretty well for me over time. Wow, this is gonna be so much fun. All right, here we're gonna show the suspension. Look at that, guys. 
That is really, really impressive, especially on a plane like this. And the big Draco did not have suspension as good as this. Its tires are also nice and squishy and soft. We are now gonna talk about batteries. This flies on both 3S and 4S packs, which is awesome. I'm going to do flight videos with 3S, 4S, and there's two different 4S sizes that I plan to use in this thing. And I'll tell you the center of gravity, all that stuff, that's all planned moving forward. And if you want to get this plane or these batteries, which I paid for myself so I could do this review for you guys, feel free to click on my Horizon Hobby affiliate links in the description of this video or the pinned comment in this video. This is a nice up close look at the battery bay. Hopefully that's helpful to you guys. And let's take a nice close look at this four bladed prop. Oh yes, and then actually let's take another quick close look. Yeah, look at that suspension. It's got the spring there and it actually works. That is remarkable. All right, right now we are gonna do a motor rev. This is on 3S and we'll see what happens guys. Yeah, that thing's got some pep. 3S is all there is, and now you hear the AS3X kick in, and the flaps are going up. Just in case anyone is wondering, this does come with safe, as you can see, by the pitch and all that stuff. You rock it one way, it counterbalances it, frontward, forward, left and right. And if you do fly it in safe, make sure you fly it in high rates. It's not designed to go in safe in low rates. You will have big problems. It'll take you 40 acres to turn that SOB around. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap things up with our pros and cons. As far as the pros go, this looks very scale. I love all the bits and details, even though I'll probably break some of them off. They still look amazing. Four bladed prop, the lights, the tires, all that stuff. It also has really functional, truly functional suspension gear. It doesn't have oil filled shocks, but that's okay. Uh, it will still actually function in real life, which is amazing. The big one did not have that. I love the big soft Tundra tires. They look great and feel great. The light kit is amazing for a plane this size, scale, and price point. And the radio setup is very easy. As far as the cons go, this is a fairly minor con, but it's still a con because it could be perfect if they would have done this. The big backup light on the back of the plane, it's a faux one, it's just a plastic piece. There's no LED in there and that would have made it awesome, truly awesome for night flying, as well as not doing the faux lights on the top of the vertical stabilizer in the back of the rudder. The other thing that would have made it really good for me is not having a removable wing. There's all kinds of bits and things like that. There's and the servo exposed on the bottom with the wing off. I would have preferred not to have to deal with that. I like my bind and fly planes. I just grab them and go. This is too small. The foam is too delicate to just grab and go and toss in your car without a care. So it needs to go back in the box to keep it protected and mint and all the things that I like to have. Unlike say the E-Flight F14, which all fits in the box, but I understand keeping the price point down lower, you need to fit it in a smaller shipping box. So I get it, but that's still a con and I'm gonna call it. With all that being said, like, comment, and subscribe, share with a friend, Check the links in the description of the video, and GB Linden, out.